golden blue leg baboon. Can anybody ventral sex this one? Leave male or female in the comments and when it molts, I'll give you a shout out next video. Hello and welcome back to my channel. So thank you for everybody joining me in today. Um, just in my cabin doing some maintenance and I come across one of these. Uh, constantly feed it. I did have three of these on a previous video. I think I'll put a little annotation at the top, but two of them perish when they're tiny slings. Um, this is why the spiders have so many um, babies in their sacks, because some just perish. It's like some are meant to die. I know that sounds weird, but some never eat. Um, some molt and then die straight away. You do all the conditions perfectly, and out of the three, I've only got the one survived here, and it's doing very, very well. But it is hot bacteria, Pocrypes or pulcripes, and it's the golden blue leg baboon. And it's molted, you probably can't see it, it is down here. It's still a sling, but it's sling going on juvie now. You can't really see it, it looks tiny, but we'll get it out and we'll have a look. You can see the legs of it down there. Um, but I want to just get it into something a bit more because. Uh, quite dry substrate, I put an ink pot in there but it just literally turns over the ink pot all the time and fills it in. But you can see it does extensive webbing. But one more molt in here, I don't think it's going to have the room to molt. It will do for one but I just want to give it that bit more room. So I'm going to put it from this one into one of these. So this is perfect for it, just giving it a good clean out. So I'm just going to put it in there and do a little setup of that one. So. No idea if it's male or female, um, but we'll see that as we go along. I'll see if I can have a good look at it when we get it out. Um, but yeah, let's get straight on with the video. Okay, so that's what I've done for this one. So for the heart bacteria pole cripes and slightly shallower water dish for this one because I've never really had to leave a water dish in. I've done the ink pots, but um, they just tip them over straight away and they do fine as long as you feed them. But always recommend putting a water dish or sticking at the front there, but these are heavy webbers. So what I've done with this is I've got an idea and I've done it so a bit of leaf litter and stuff in there. Good ooh, three inches of substrate in there for this sling at the minute. But I'm hoping if I can set it free here, it will run down and use this cork bark as a den and then web over. I've given it anchor points of branches and that going over from the front and the back. And then at the back there is cocoa fiber and there's also a gap at the back so it can dig down and burrow down underneath. But then hopefully it will web this. A bit of a long stretch if it would do that, but these are heavy webbers and they will web up the top of the enclosure. So that's why I've done this. So it will web this up without having to web up above here. So I'm hoping that will do a chamber and this will give me a perfect window to feed all the way down here and it's solid. So I'm hoping that's the plan. And I'm hoping that's what will happen, but I think that looks absolutely amazing. I think you'll agree. So I love doing it like this. And these are all the bits, even the court park, and that's all from where I live out in the, the wild. So let's see if I can catch this one and then I'll get it in and give you a good look at this one. It'll probably hide straight away so I might catch it in a catch cup just so you can get a good shot of this one. All right, so there you have it. It's a good size. Um, little thing, you can see the uh, coloration. Whoa. Okay, didn't realize that could climb up on the plastic and it threw itself back in. I've obviously spooked it a little bit. But you can see it's got a fat abdomen. I've been feeding it well. No idea if this is male or female, um, but uh, you can see the coloration there as well. So I'm not going to hesitate anymore. I don't want this one running out, getting too stressed. But uh, I think that one's going into pre-molt again. These have been molting really, really quickly at the minute. Um, it is a good 26 degrees in here consistently. Um, at the evenings, it does drop down quite a few degrees. So they're perfect for them. So it's helping them grow and molt. Ooh. Oh, that was close, nearly escaped again. But whether anyone can see if that's male or female, just by that. Oh, I'm not too sure. Let's see if I can zoom in. There we go. I'd like to see if anybody can guess if that's male or female. And when I get the motor, I'll confirm. I've got an idea myself. 
Uh, I'm normally um, right with these quite a few of the times. There's only certain species I seem to just get wrong all the time, but uh, if you can all guess that one and leave your notes in the comments there just to let me know if you think it's male or female, that'd be ideal to see what everyone thinks on that one. But let's see if I can get this little one in. Right, I'm going to aim to try and get it up where I want it, but it's probably not going to happen. Oh, it did it exactly where I wanted it. The journey is usually the part that you remember anyways. <laughs> Christ, I sounded like Miley Cyrus then. Exactly where I wanted it, so hopefully it's going to stay there now. Don't want it running out because then if I don't disturb it too much, it will web up there. But now it's going to it feels threatened, so it's going to try and squish in somewhere. But I'm hoping it will do that chamber. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave this now, turn the lights off, and hopefully that will settle in. So I hope you enjoyed that one. But uh, I'll tag on the end. I'll give it two days, and I'll come in and I'll see what it's done because with this species, it doesn't feel safe until it webs, so it's gonna to wanna to web up somewhere. I'm hoping it won't pick that little corner it's gone there and just web up. I'm hoping it will use that chamber I've done for it because that'd be perfect. So I think it will over time, but I'd like it to do it straight away. So let's just see what it shows in a couple of days. Okay, so it's done some slight webbing on the front and on the back, but what it has done is it's enclosed itself at the back and used the leaves and done itself a little chamber going down at the end of this court part bit. So there's a slight hole at the back, but it goes in up to here. And if you can see that, it's used all the leaves and done itself a chamber at the back. So it's completely submerged in it. So I think it's getting ready to molt. So what I'll do is I'll leave that as it is. And then hopefully over time, when it comes back out, it will start to do some webbing over this part here. And hopefully it will look a lot better, but um, it's looking really good and it's nice and settled so I'm not going to feed this one so I'll leave it be because it's enclosed itself off completely um, but thanks very much for watching and look out for future updates